Hey my friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week I had a little bit of time to spend with the 2023 Camry Hybrid SE Nightshade Edition. One that's sporty and, well, not as expensive as you'd think. The current Toyota Camry Hybrid has been a reliable and solid choice in the midsize sedan market, its top rivals being the Honda Accord and Hyundai Sonata hybrids. In its final years of the current generation, the refreshed 2023 SE Nightshade Edition sports it up with a number of key styling features that I really found quite attractive. Our tester showed up in a new solid hue of reservoir blue which contrasted nicely against its new 19-inch matte bronze alloy wheels. It sits a little lower, too, by way of a sport-tuned suspension on the SE trim grade. A black front grille with sport mesh comes over from the Camry TRD. Its bi-LED headlamps feature a black surround, as do its LED combination tail lamps. Black accents are also added here and there, including a lip spoiler on the trunk, mirror caps, and black emblems. The 2023 Camry Nightshade is available on the SE trim grade in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive for the 2.5-liter gas models as well as the front-wheel drive hybrid I tested here. In such, the 2.5-liter hybrid system in this trim was rated at 208 horsepower with a fuel efficiency of 44 mpg city, 47 mpg highway, and 46 mpg combined. In my week with it, I measured 43 mpg combined in real-world driving, and I found that the power from its well-proven hybrid drivetrain was plenty to feel sporting when I wanted. Add in a selectable drive mode and paddle shifters on the steering wheel for simulated shift feel, and it's almost a credible sports sedan. I also thought the handling with its slightly lower and tighter suspension along with its more aggressive tire and wheel combination was just enough to make it fun to drive. Not what one always expects from a hybrid sedan. It was definitely a step up from rental grade. My tester rang in at 32,610 which was quite a bit less than my initial feel and gut instinct was when I first sat in it. I was thinking closer to 40. Based on the SE trim, this Camry though is definitely in the middle of the lineup from base to fully featured. This means the interior was well appointed with an upgraded level of trim and features, but not all the way. Seating was Softex vinyl with a nice looking striped cloth insert. The driver's seat is power operated, but the passenger seat is manual. I also noted after a couple of days that it didn't have heated seats. They were comfortable, however, quite so, and a welcome place to hang out for a long drive. The 7-inch base touchscreen audio system is what I would call adequate in sound quality. It features a basic backup camera, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and satellite radio. It's easy to use with lots of hard controls to bypass layers of menus. The downside? It's a smaller screen than most of the competitors now have, and a few less features offered. At its price, I was more than pleased with its overall packaging of sport character, performance, efficiency, and handling. Even at six years old, it more than keeps up, I think, with the current Honda Accord Hybrid, though the Hyundai Sonata does offer a newer design and newer features. An all-new Toyota Camry and Honda Accord both are due for 2024, so the race will reset when those two arrive. For the here and now, you've got a chance to get the last Camry with all of its bugs worked out, and likely for a better deal. There you go, my friends. I enjoyed this car this week. It was a nice blend of sporty driving character, sporty looks, affordability, and best yet, efficiency. It's hard to beat that 40 plus MPG when you've got a car that looks like this. Now, obviously, we did not get to do a full test drive review video shoot on this car. Weather just wasn't on our side this week. But if you want to see a full test drive review from us on the Camry Hybrid or one of the other models, search Camry on our YouTube channel. There, you'll find plenty of different reviews with all of our normal scoring and full test drive review. You can also see our latest video right there, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.